They work in every profession, work out in neighborhood gyms. They teach our children and raise their own. They are members of the Sikh faith, or more correctly pronounced, the Sikh faith. And several thousand Sikhs live, work, and worship in the Chicago area. Hello, I'm Chaplain Dean with the Chicago Police Department. In an ideal world, all encounters between the police and public would be marked by mutual respect and dignity. Each party would have an understanding, an appreciation for the other's background, beliefs, and values. In that spirit, we as police officers should do what we can to learn about the variety of customs, religions, and nationalities that form the fabric of our communities. Today, let us take a closer look at the Sikh faith. Sikhism is a religion, not a nationality. It is a unique religion, a religion revealed by God through the Sikh gurus. It is not a blend of other faiths. I think that's probably the biggest misconception and if they knew what Sikhism is, it's very different than um, Hinduism or Islam. Guru Nanak founded Sikhism in Punjab, India 500 years ago. Our founder, Guru Nanak, stressed very heavy on uh, finding internal happiness, internal peace, living in the family life. Second thing it's stressed on is to make your living through hard work. Six dress distinctively. To be true to their religion, they must wear five articles of faith known as the five Ks. Kirpan, a small ceremonial sword. Kara, an iron bracelet. Kashera, long undergarments. Kanga, a wooden hair comb. And Kies, uncut hair. Case's hair, it's long, unshorn, uh, uncut hair. Uh, we don't shave off, we don't cut hair from any part of our body. Uh, there's a comb to keep our hair clean. Hair is not all over the face. It's tied up nicely, neatly, so it's not a hindrance in your day-to-day -day activity. Male six and some female six wrap their hair in turbans. This is not a fashion preference. It is a religious requirement. This is a, a part of my identity, my faith being a Sikh. So I have to wear it and taking it off would be like being a coward, being going back on my word. We don't uh, go out without covering our hair. Even inside the house, I keep it covered. Men are required to wear a turban. Um, women have a choice too, and not many do, uh, but I choose to. The biggest misconception when they see somebody with a turban and they had just seen a picture of Osama bin Laden or their followers out there and then they, you know, they think that, oh, maybe some way attached to them, which is not the case. As police officers, we need to be aware that the turban is not just a head covering or a hat. It is a revered religious symbol. Unless you are going to conduct a legally justified pat-down or a custodial search, the turban should never be touched. In the event that you must conduct a pat-down or custodial search, explain why you are doing it. If removal of the turban is required, allow the sick person to unwrap their turban in a private area, unless there are overriding safety or security concerns. And somebody Touching my turban or forcibly taking it off is like assaulting me or like uh, uh, insulting me and uh, uh, stripping me of my dignity and my honor. Just as a turban is a revered article of faith, so is the kirpan, the ceremonial sword. Six wear kirpans to symbolize their commitment to justice and human rights. Be aware that both state statute and municipal code dictate the legalities of carrying a kirpan. In short, state law and the municipal code allow a sick person to carry a kirpan, provided the kirpan is not carried in a threatening or menacing manner, that it is not carried with an intended unlawful use, and that the kirpan is not concealed on or about the person. Municipal code makes it unlawful 
for a person to carry a concealed knife with a blade longer than two and a half inches. While most kirpans have blades longer than two inches, most Sikhs wear the kirpan in a sheath openly suspended from the waist. If worn in this manner, the kirpan is not considered concealed, and so wearing the kirpan in this manner is within the law. The municipal code is more restrictive for those 18 years of age or younger. By law, those who are 18 and under are prohibited from possessing any blade two inches or longer in length, concealed or not. While we respect the laws of this country, Sikhs consider the kirpan an article of faith rather than a mere weapon. A Sikh wears the kirpan with absolutely no criminal intention. Be aware, those of the Sikh faith feel strongly about their religious right to carry a kirpan. We're working with law enforcement in Chicago as well as across the country to examine the law more closely so that we can see how we can reconcile the gap between the existing law and what we know is our fundamental religious right. As an American, I am guaranteed the freedom of religion in the Constitution. That's the beauty of America. It's fluid enough to allow all religions the opportunity to practice their sacred beliefs freely. The Sikh faith incorporates a strong sense of social justice. The Sikh community is known for its willingness to work with police. It doesn't matter whether you're a Christian or a Sikh or a Hindu or anybody else. If suppose somebody is harming you and you are in need, it is my duty to help you out. I tell my son, 18 years old, in fact, uh, when September 11 uh, happened, my first, my first reaction was, in case need be, he will be, you know, in the, in, the, in the military. He will be, you know, in the army in case that needs to be, because this is our country now. People of the Sikh faith reject the caste system of India. To discourage elitism, Sikhs share the same last names. Any born Sikh has, a, a male member has the name Singh, and the ladies, girls, have a name Kaur. Singh means a lion or a tiger, and all females to Kaur, K-A-U-R, which means princess and lioness, and the purpose of that was eliminating caste system so that everybody has that same name and they're all at the same level. Unlike those from some religions, those in the Sikh faith, male and female, consider the handshake an entirely acceptable form of greeting. The Sikh faith views men and women as equals in all aspects of their professional, personal, and spiritual lives. According to the instructions in the Sikh faith, women are treated equal, they should be treated equal, they are created equal, and they're equal partners. There's really nothing that limits women from doing anything in our religion, socially, culturally, religiously. I'm blessed to have my own uh, domain, my own uh, business where I can really have the flexibility to have of being a professional, being a productive member of the society, yet being a mother, which is the most important role. Like everyone else, Sikhs struggle to meet the demands of the modern American family. We are like any other parents, we want the same things for our kids, you know. Want them to have a good upbringing, you know, go to good schools, a good education, for them to be good, con you know, contributing citizens of the, of the country. I mean, just, just what any other parent would want of their children. Day-to-day -day activities, uh, yes, uh, it's a typical, typical family you'll find anywhere. Sure, we do all those things. We have for birthday cakes, uh, our children goes to Chuck E. Cheese and, <laughs> and all those McDonald's and all those places we go. Uh, you know, th there's no difference. Many Sikh homes have a room set aside for prayer where they keep the Sikh holy book called the Guru Granth Sahib. When responding to a call at a Sikh home, be respectful of this room. Should you need to enter this room, unless there are overriding safety or security concerns, remove your shoes. Also, Officers should avoid contact with the holy book. We have a prayer room in the, at our house. It's one exclusive bedroom which is uh, uh, kept away from the rest of the traffic and we go inside with the shoes removed and so on. The sick place of worship is called the Gurdwara. If during the course of an investigation police visit a Gurdwara, be aware that this too is a sick holy place with certain customs and sensitivities. And whenever 
anybody who enters the Gurdwara, we request that they do few things. Number one is that they remove their shoes. Number two, they cover their head. Number three, they should not smoke and you do not touch the holy scriptures. That's very important. Most Gurdwaras have services every day. Sunday services are well attended. Services are followed by a community meal called langar. Any person of any faith is welcomed in a Sikh Gurdwara. The Sikh ideology does not condone religious or cultural prejudices in any form. Our religion does state that all religions have a place in the world. They all are equal. Nobody is superior. Six practice respect and tolerance of all others. It is something they expect in return. We're all humans. We should be relating to one another, and we believe in one God, and God unites us all. You can consider me like somebody in your neighborhood, next door neighbor, someone, a colleague at work, or another person at school sitting next to your class. The only difference is I look a little different because I have a beard and I have a turban. Let's take a moment to conclude and to review some of the highlights of the Sikh faith. The five Ks of Sikhism are sacred to Sikhs. Turbans are a revered article of faith. Unless a search is legally justified, avoid touching a turban and refrain from asking a Sikh to remove his or her turban. Should there be a need for a legally justified search, if possible, allow the sick to remove his or her turban in private. Six carry Kirpan's small ceremonial swords. As long as they are worn suspended from the waist and are not concealed, the carrying of a Kirpan is legal for those older than 18 years of age. For those 18 years and younger, the Kirpan blade must be less than two inches in length. Shaking hands is not offensive to sick men and women. It is an acceptable way to greet people. Keep in mind two special places for those of the Sikh faith, the Gurdwara, a place of public worship, and the special room in a private home where the Sikh holy book is kept. Typically, visitors to these holy places are asked to remove their shoes and wear a head covering. All of the people we encounter on a daily basis expect to be treated with dignity and respect. Those who practice the Sikh faith are certainly no exception. It is our hope that this video will serve to enlighten and foster a new awareness and understanding. Thanks for watching.